Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, March 18th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, longtime cosmetics brand? Is that going to be Avon? I feel like there's a lot of possibilities for that one. Let's see if we can confirm it. Key for a trumpet. <laughs> Are we talking about a musical key? I don't think it can start with V, whatever it is. Yeah. Let's take out Avon. Um, is it going to be something flat? I think that's a pretty good guess. Let's see if we can build off of flat here. De segunda blank? Second hand in Spanish. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to be mono, is it? Because that's the Spanish word for hand, right? Mano, like in mano a mano. I guess this could be something else. Could it just be major? Hmm. Maybe it is literally second hand in Spanish also. Oh boy, we're ripping out a lot of answers in this corner already. Things stuck with toothpicks. Ooh. I would love if this was like BLTs or something like that. Like a sandwich. That would be tempeh bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Yeah. Hmm. Ale category. Yeah, that's looking like it's going to be amber. Nice. Okay, I think we finally have a foothold here. Key for a trumpet. Hmm. This looks really weird. Like the more interesting twin, some would say. Interesting twin. Hmm. I don't know what they're talking about. Many a tumbler share. A tumbler share. Hmm. Is it going to be a reblog? I think you can reblog on Tumblr. It's been a while. Hmm. This is totally mysterious to me. Stretching to see just a teensy bit better, perhaps. I really want that to be on tippy toe. Maybe it's not a reblog, maybe it's a repost. Could that be? And then this could be on tippy toe, like that. That looks pretty good. Pretty darn good, actually. <laughs> um, so, what is that gonna be here? Pretty darn good. Hmm, is it gonna start with most? Oh, maybe it is Avon after all. That's so funny. And then this is not a musical key. It's an actual key that's on the trumpet. It's a valve. Ugh, that is so tricky. <laughs> okay, so is this going to be evil twin? I guess they are more interesting in a way. And then pretty darn good is going to be maybe no slouch. That is a fantastic bit of fill there. Your no slouch at playing the trumpet maybe. I love that one. Articulated. That could be well put. Well articulated. Undercard listing. Undercard. That's in boxing, right? It's like a boxing match before the main event. Hmm. Shoot, I was hoping we could build into this area. I think we're going to have to start fresh, though. Undercard listing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it could be about. There we go. That's great. That's another word for a fight. Power blank. That could be power user. Don't rush. An equivalent phrase. It's not going to be one second, right? That's a little too short. Hmm. Surest shot. Surest shot. What are they talking about? Marksmanship? Is it going to start with best? Maybe it's best chance. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good equivalent there. Best chance. Let's see if we can build off of that. Winter homes for some. Hmm. Winter homes. I wonder if they're not talking about homes for humans. Could this be dens if we're talking about bears? A bear's winter home is a den. 
clear indication. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be some kind of obvious signal. Clear indication. I'm not sure where the pun is going to be here. It has to be unclear, I'd think. Hmm. It seems like clear could be used in a lot of different contexts. Let's keep moving. Basics to build with? Hmm. Basics. This could be used in a lot of different contexts, too. We could be talking about biological building blocks. We could be talking about, like, the ABCs. Man. Okay, I think getting some more crossing help would be very useful. The musical Come From Away has one. Is it a one-act play? That's pretty tricky. What a rebellious teenager may be going through. Maybe they're going through a phase. It's just a phase. Don't let them hear you say that. That'll just make them more rebellious. Okay, spots for grills. Ooh, man, this seems very tricky. Spots has a ton of different meanings and grills has a ton of different meanings too. This could be about like your teeth, right? Your grill, your face. Um, hmm, I don't know. Spots? It could just be talking about like an area where you'd have a picnic. The Walking Dead role. So this is going to be a character on The Walking Dead. I have watched The Walking Dead. It's been a while though. Yeah, I can't really remember. Height? Could this be the Acme? It would be the Acme of Foolishness. Yeah, that's great. Oregon College, whose mascot is a griffin. I don't know if I know any colleges in Oregon. Yeah. Allied with. Okay, I think this is going to be sided with. Um, I don't know, is it Bend? There's a Bend, Oregon, isn't there? That would mean this ends in MN. Um... Hmm, maybe it's one at a time. Don't rush. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so it's not bend. I have no idea. Is this Enid? I don't remember a character named Enid. Ooh. Spots for grills. Maybe it could just be patios. Yeah, it is just talking about a grill. So what is this? Dematerialize? Is that going to be disappear? Nice. Okay, so this is read. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of that one. And then this is I see. Clear indication. I guess this is an indication that things have become clear to someone. They say, I see. Ooh, that was really hard to see. <laughs> Ironically. Okay, lead into logical. Maybe it's ideological? Yeah. Garden variety. This is more wordplay. So I guess it's not going to be about a garden variety vegetable. Is it about a different kind of garden? Hmm, I'm not sure. Basics to build with. Huh, it looks like it starts with starring, doesn't it? Starring something? I don't know. Let's move back over here. Oh, we have a grid spanner in the center of the grid too. Excellent, okay. Symbol of strength. Hmm. There's a lot of symbols for strength out there. I'm not sure about this one. Blank Bryant, 20th century singer, civil rights activist. I don't know if I recognize this name. It looks like it could be Bryce maybe? Let's see if this is an R. Singular. It seems like that should be loan. Like the loan example of something. Could it be Alice? Um, is it tippy toe with an I? Yeah, I guess it could be. Um, let's take this out because I'm very unsure of what this should actually be now. Let's see if this is an A. Filipino national hero blank Rizal. Uh-oh. I don't know this one. This is a dicey little cross here. Blank pitch? Hmm. 
That doesn't look familiar to me either. I wonder if it's not alone. Set of eight for most spiders. That should be legs. I guess it could also be eyes though, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's put in eyes. And then... I guess this is going to be only... There we go. Maybe that'll help. Um, I guess this could be Royce, maybe? With that Y in there still? Could this be an R? Ugh, I have no idea. Hmm, maybe this could be slow pitch? There's like slow pitch softball, isn't there? Hmm. This is maybe an E? That still doesn't help too much. Let's take a peek at this grid spanner here. Not exactly a priority. Well, I would really want this to be on the back burner. That's a really nice phrase there. That's really good. So maybe this is going to be Jose. Jose Rizal. Yeah, um, I think probably this is going to be Tippy Toe. This is probably going to be an E. Maybe this will be a steed. That could be a symbol of strength, maybe. Um, actually, you know what would be better, I think, would be steel. Yeah, I think that's a more common symbol of strength. So that could give us Joyce Bryant. Yeah, I haven't heard of them either. Very tricky cross here. Although, in the end, it was pretty inferable once you have everything else filled in. So that's good, at least. Um, can we get this? Garden variety. Hmm. This B, I feel like it should help, but I'm not really getting anything. Island that's part of Maui County. I think there's an island in Hawaii called Lanai, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if that's right. They may emit as many as 200 beeps per second. Is that going to be bats in their sonar? That's pretty cool. Bring out. I really want this to be trot out. Yeah. Um, basics. Is it a starring kit? That doesn't seem right. A starter kit would make sense. So maybe it's not idio. Could this be a T? Maybe this is why we were having trouble with this down here. This could be theological. Ooh, very tricky. Okay, so this should be starter kit. Um, I guess this is an herb? Yeah, I guess the standard reading of this garden variety would be kind of ordinary, right? If you say something's garden variety, it's ordinary. But the pun is they're actually asking for something that would be in a garden. That would be an herb. Yeah, that was a little tricky. It might come with a spoon straw. Is that going to be an icy? We had that on yesterday's grid too. Ingredient in some mole. I think there's cacao in a lot of mole, right? Tell me about it. Another equivalent phrase. I think this should be, I can relate. Yeah. Do most of the work for as a team. Yeah, you carry your team if you do most of the work. Eliciting an ick. Could that be yucky? Word with rock or hard. It's not rock solid. Hmm. Soul seller? Is this actually someone that was known for selling their soul? Hmm. I don't know. Program. Is that going to be a system? Like a system you can follow? Elevates. Hmm. Is it raises up? That seems pretty good. I have no idea. Is it Kim? Hmm. Still not sure about this one either. Let develop in a way. Hmm. That's so ambiguous. Sensational as certain details. It's not tawdry. Hmm. Did we look at this one? Attractively bold, self-assurance, casually. Oh man, what would you call that? I'm not sure. Long blank? Ooh, it feels like this could be a million different things.
Let's see if we can build off of the bottom here and maybe build back up through this long down. Some procedure. Is that going to be cogito ergo sum? I think therefore I am. I think it must be. Twilight for one. Are they talking about Twilight the book or the movie? Could it be a saga? The Twilight Saga? Thick Noodle, that's gonna be Udon. I love Udon. Cross Products. Hmm. Cross? I'm not sure what they're talking about there. Encourage, maybe too much. Yeah, that's gonna be Egg On. Sounds that might accompany foot dragging. Moans. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking of Paul Rudd in Wet Hot American Summer. Um, Cross Products. Is it going to be Pens? Is there a brand called Cross? I don't know if I've heard of that. We would end in trade here. Exchange words. That seems okay. Um, I'm not sure what the beginning would be. Something trade. I would want it to be trade words, but that definitely doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just not sure about this one. Well, let's move over to this section, and maybe we can try and finish up in this area here. Pants in German. Uh, finally, a foreign language I'm comfortable in. Um, yeah, in German, pants are called Hose. Yeah, and I guess pants are kind of like hoses, right? They're tubes, just like a hose is. Indigenous religion of Japan. Yeah, that's going to be Shinto. Music comedy duo Garfunkel and Blank. That's Garfunkel and Oates. Yeah, they're really funny. I love them. Okay, Courts of Sorts. Hmm. I guess this could be romantically courting. Um, it could be Courts of Law. It could be Tennis Courts or basketball courts. Hmm, I'm not sure which it's gonna be here. Future nostalgia singer Dua. I think there's a singer called Dua Lipa, isn't there? Blank doubt, definitely in French. Well, this seems like it might mean doubt. So maybe with this first word, it could be without a doubt. Could that be sans doubt? That would make sense, right? Gym membership, maybe. Could that be a perk? That could be a perk you get from your office, maybe. Store with a three-syllable name in four letters. Ikea? That's three syllables, right? Not literally. An equivalent phrase, so to speak. <laughs> That's really nice. March participants, maybe. Hmm. March. Are we talking about like a protest march or maybe a military march? I guess it could be talking about the month of March. Hmm, I'm not sure. Shortening in a recipe. <laughs> I don't think they're talking about vegetable shortening. Could this be teaspoon? That would be a shortened version of teaspoon. So this is going to be testers? I guess it could be protesters. Yeah, it would be a protest. Okay, short courses. More wordplay. I guess we could be talking about golf courses. Maybe we're talking about food though. Could that be apps? Appetizers? Those are kind of short courses. Acknowledgement that another person is at least partly right. <laughs> That'll be point taken. Spanish wine region named for an animal. Is that going to be Toro? That's a bull, right? Laugh Fest. That's going to be a riot. Maybe a rip roaring riot. So that leaves us with Atria. Oh man. It's going to be a court in a building, an open air court. Oh, that was super tricky. All right, well, let me poke around in this section here. And if I get a good foothold, I'll bring you back in. Ah, uh, I just figured out this along down here. This is such a tricky clue. Let me show you how I got there. I started off here, sensational as certain details. I was thinking 
It probably has to end in a Y, right? It has to be an adjective of some kind. And then I hit on the fact that it maybe could be gory details. Yeah, all the gory details. Um, and then I still wasn't really able to see what this should be. But this one, long blank with that O, I think that should be long ago. Um, and then let develop in a way. This has that tricky word let in it. It could be present tense or past tense. I think it's past tense. I think it's going to be aged. Yeah. And then I finally saw that this should be swag. Bold self-assurance. Ooh, that is a very modern term. And then it was finally obvious that this should be candy, rock candy, hard candy. Yeah. And then this, I was still having trouble seeing what it should be. Even putting this E in here, I was like, wanna trade? What? What does that mean? I finally saw that this should be a car, the Kia Soul. Kia makes the soul. And then even with all of this in here, I had to stare at it for a minute or two to finally understand that wanna trade are words that you say when you wanna make an exchange. <laughs> yeah, this is not about having a conversation. Oh my God, that was so hard to see. That's a great clue though. That is super tricky, perfect for a Friday. All right, let's throw that E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Friday puzzle in just under 30 minutes. Yeah, we came in right under the wire there. Um, yeah, I think we definitely spent a good few minutes trying to untangle this section here. Um, yeah, I think the rest of the puzzle we got through pretty smoothly. It was just this section here mostly, and a lot of it was due to the trickiness of the clue for wanna trade, exchange words. Wow, I love the deviousness of this clue. It was also crossed by this pretty tricky soul seller for Kia. This is another fantastic clue and this very modern swag, which took me a while to come up with. There's a lot of really nice long fill on this one. Of course, the marquee answer on the back burner is really, really nice. Point taken is great here. One at a time is fun. Best chance, yeah. I was pretty happy that we came up with that so quickly. That's kind of a tough one. I loved no slouch. Pretty darn good, wow. On tippy toe is fun, yeah. A lot of the long stuff here is really great. I can relate. So to speak, too. Wow. Yeah. A lot of really nice phrases here. The only kind of dicey cross was Jose and Joyce, but we didn't really have too much trouble once we got everything else filled in, so it's really not that bad. Kind of has to be a J here. I like the tricky cluing for some of the shorter answers, like short courses for apps. And I really liked this one, winter homes for some, dens. Yeah, the fact that they were talking about bears and not humans was very tricky. All right, well, this Friday puzzle was definitely no slouch. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the most challenging puzzle of the week this Saturday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.